So I'm currently working on a Panzer II turret. This is the uh, flame variant, the Flamingo. So what it looks like is one of the ones that uh, were in Norway. In the, they were like a fortified uh, turret in the ground. I've got some photos in that. So you can kind of see what they look like. Obviously this one's been all blown up. Looks like a mine was on the inside and they've blown it from inside out. So we've got to do all the repairs on it. So I've just got a line drawing of of the actual flamingo on the actual tank. You can kind of see where the flamethrower units are and the uh, tanks. But this is the actual turret. This one's slightly different. You can see it's got the actual hatch and everything and you've got the different uh, blocks and the different machine gun mount on the front. This is the photos we've got of the ones in Norway. You can see the original one, so it's very similar to the one that we're doing here. Again, this has got the different vision blocks. But it's got the same machine gun mount and same like air, air vent. We think that's what that is. And then you've also got the big plate on the back to hide that cover. So essentially that's what we're gonna be doing on this turret here is just restoring it back to that, that condition. So this is very similar to the one we've got here just with the flat blacked out uh, welded in vision ports. Same with the machine gun, but that's just got a flat roof. They've just put one big piece on. That's very, very similar to what, what, what we're going to be doing, that one there. All right, so what we're going to be doing with this one, you can clearly see that this piece has all been blown out and ripped off. And this piece here, which was attached to that, has also been blown out. So what we want to do is we want to cut this off, this piece, and we're going to sh straighten it. Once we've got that off and straightened, then we can try straighten the existing roof that we have. You can kind of see where the bend was. There would have been a, a press line here running through so that angle meets. So what we'll have to do is try get that down and push back on. And then we'll cut all that off and put a new piece in here. And then once that piece is in, then we can cut our new top, which will go from there to there and across and then back up. And then that will get fully welded on. Cut some more out of here. Seems to be holding on. Same with it here. Just try to cut some more out of there too. You can see it's just all laminated underneath here. See all that's just turned to flake. Pretty bad really. You can see where the weld's actually penetrated and holding onto that the top of the roof. And you can see look it's just all cracked. We'll let go.
spider. <laughs> Just to catch a spider in the helmet. See, see how twisted and that it is. So now that we've got that, that strengthener off, it's going to be a lot easier to pull down. And then once it's all pulled down, we've got it flat, um, tack it all in place, and then we can put that plate back on, and that will act as the strengthener to keep it where it is. And then we can put our insert, and then put our top plate. Yeah, you can just see that. So now that we've cut that top plate off, I can kind of see what's happened. You can kind of see where something's, like a mine's been put on the inside, it's been blown out. You can see all along here, everything's fractured. It's all in bits. Because I'm not ready apparently. Uh. What's happened? Someone's playing silly buggers with me. What are you doing taking it out for? Oh, I was there first! I'm like, why is my stick on my work? Someone's playing. No, Graham, don't turn it off again. see now it's touching here going down now it's touching here you can see that this one's blown out so we'll have to heat along here and try and knock that one down too so the plan is is once i get this roof straight i've cut a bit of plate which is just there this will go in and get welded in and once that's welded in i then can trace where the door hatch would be which is roughly there cut the door hatch out I know it's a lot of work, but that's originally how it was. And then put that top plate on. We want to make, make it as original as we can. So we've just got to fix all these bits before we do that. So just dog, dog these down and tack them in, and then yeah, we can finish that off. Ready for the storm? Thunder buddies. <laughs> Sky looks nice and happy over there. You look nice and happy over there. I'm nice and happy over there. You won't look happy after I smack this over your head. So yeah, you can kind of see what I've done now. I've put this patch plate in. So now I just need to fill in all these little pieces because we didn't have a sheet that was big enough. 
So all of this will all get filled in, in here and here. And then this will get pulled down. You can see it's kind of not really touching there. It's not touching here. So what I'll do is I'll dog them down and tack them on, on these corners and fill these extra bits in. And then that piece is done. Then we'll trace out where the actual hole would go. And then I'll cut that. And then we'll put our uh, additional piece on. And then that will be that done. Okay. This is what our top piece, that's the plate that we're going to be using, the steel, 12 mil plate. So that will get welded on here as the patch. <clears throat> and then once that's all in, everything's straight, then we can just straighten that piece back up. You can see there's a few cracks in it. And then once it's straight, we'll pop that back on, re-weld it on. And then I'll fully weld everything in one big go. Go around with the stick welder with uh, 312s and just do nice big thick welds all the way around. You see it's cracked and fractured and push that plate up. You can actually all of this weld was all cracked off. So the explosion pushed this up. The only thing that was holding this on was this weld on the front here. All of the welds along the sides here were pretty well cracked off and broken. So it's a lot of force to do that. It's crazy, absolutely crazy to just peel something up like like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool that piece. Very cool. I don't want to get hit by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> that lightning's starting to get a little bit hectic. Master call it quits on that one, guys. 